Hello guys and welcome back. It's me, Raunchy Ram again, and I'm bringing you guys a vi another video guide for Dark Souls 3. Today I'm going to show people how to get access to being able to reallocate your attribute points. Basically being able to uh, change your stats and... Well, let me put some explaining into this real quick. On my stream recently, I showed someone how to do the skill points thing and the thing is is that being able to change your stats isn't like something painfully obvious or you're not going to be able to just walk around and find it by accident because the uh, game has a lot of situational things to it that you got to do to be able to get access to this covenant so I'm going to show you guys the guaranteed 100% way you can do it every time so if you like let's say you're, you're not happy with your stats and you want to change them well you first need to join Rosario's Covenant, and to find that, you need to travel to the Cleansing Chapel in the Cathedral of the Deep. Uh, you also need to have this back door right here unlocked. It's the second one you unlock, so not that one. This one. If you guys don't have this door unlocked, uh, you just keep progressing. I'll show you guys uh, exactly where you go to find the doorway to get to that door to unlock it. So anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I wanted to uh, turn this into a video guide so that if I'm asked on my stream again, I can just say, hey, just check out the video on it. That way I don't have to stop everything I'm doing and show more people how to do it. Now, if you've been to the Cathedral of the Deep, you've no doubt passed through this area. That area right there is where the big giant that slams his hands down on you is at. And then right there is where the other giant is normally. You don't need to kill any of the giants to actually get to this uh, covenant. So when you come in from behind that pillar, you'll run straight across here. Kill this little imp guy that jumps down from the wall. Walk through here, down these stairs. And on your left, there'll be another flight of stairs. And there's the door you want to open. And then you want to open this one. And where is the lever? There's the lever. You pull the lever. And you're going to take this lift all the way to the top. Well, to the next floor. It's not really all the way to the top because, like, they're still higher up than this. You're right up here, and look, it's the, cross it's the crossbow guy from earlier in the stage that was messing with you. He was shooting you, but you couldn't shoot him. Well, you could shoot him, but you couldn't attack him with melee. So, you go around that corner, just again real quick. From that lift, you walk straight forward through this door, and instead of dropping down, you go around the edge of it and up this ladder. See, that's actually super easy to miss. The first time I came up this lift, I was like, why'd they create a pointless area? Like, did they put this lift here so they have a reason to explain how the uh, guy with the crossbow got up here? seemed kind of pointless. So now you come up here and kill the priest here. You can kill him, you don't have to kill him. And then you walk up these boards right here, and this is important, don't sprint, don't jump, just walk right off the ledge. If you jump or sprint, you have a chance of going right off the edge. You climb up these roofs, and you can see another friendly priest over there. Kill the imp. And then you kill this priest over here, because he'll just sneak up on you later. I block him every time, and I still get hit. Sorry if I'm not, like, doing any pro strats or anything like that, or, you know, blocking a lot, or rolling around, you know, just, in general, dicking on the enemies. Oh, 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 oh. That's because, like, I'm not really trying. I've, these enemies are way below my level. Anyway, you keep going until you see this doorway. Go in here, and you see that knight right there? The one with the two-hander? You're going to want to shoot him with your bow. Or you want to do a wicked awesome arc on your fire magic. Because when you hit him, I'll just show you. 
he does something very not smart. There you go, problem solved. Now, it may not be necessary, but there's another knight right over there who's gonna shoot you with a crossbow. You may not actually have to kill him. Uh, this entire time I've been killing him though just to make things easier and so I don't die. You go across the rafters here and then over here. Now remember, it's not the one that the crossbow guy is on, it's the one next to the crossbow guy. Now, you want to see this ledge here to your left, where the candelabra is, and you want to fall down there. And then keep going forward, and fall down again. Make sure you have a pretty good sized health bar, so you might want to ember up before you do it. Slugs are going to drop from the top up here any second now. Kill the slugs. Right here you get to see just how good my sword is. 427 damage a hit. If you want this sword and you want the uh, correct infusions and stuff for it, check out my other video, the Dark Sword Guide. Now, if it's your first time coming across here, you're going to want to pull this lever. It raises this bridge so that you can get across here easier. Although it's not necessary because once you get over here, you'll get access to the Rosario's bedchamber uh, bonfire. So you're in here, more slugs. These guys are really easy to kill. They're like two, maybe three hits. And they're all really bad. Like, they don't do much damage at all. What I like to do is when these things come out, is I pretend I'm a wood chipper or a lawnmower and just. <laughs> I'm sure that was incredibly annoying. Sometimes there's this priest one that sits right here that just doesn't attack you. If you attack him, he gives you a special ring. Now, you go through this doorway, and right here, among all these pews... No, these aren't pews. These are beds. Cribs? Cribs. You come in here, and you activate the bonfire. This will let you fast travel back and then you need to come up here to Rosario and you can talk to her and once you talk to her the first time you're gonna need to pray to her and when you pray to her you can offer allegiance and join her covenant now there's some bottom sides to joining her covenant when you joined her covenant Sira of the Sunless Realm back in the uh, first room if not the first room in the Fire Link Shrine she'll hate you and she won't hang out in your place anymore and she'll tell you that she wants to uh... that the next time you guys meet you won't be friends i don't know exactly what this does so you may want to like do some looking up on that but honestly i don't care i want to be able to reallocate my skill points anyway, uh... you just talk to her you offer allegiance you don't actually have to wear the uh... Well, let me see here you don't actually have to wear her covenant icon, which would be Rosario's, fing Rosario's fingers. Anyway, uh, you talk to her, and to actually reallocate, you go to reallocate, and you offer her a pale tongue. Pale tongues can be found pretty much anywhere, but they're also, a, I think, a PvP reward while using her covenant. You can only do five uh, attribute re reallocations per playthrough so try not to overdo it like five is way more than enough I don't think in any of the Dark Souls I've ever wanted to reallocate my points more than three times so say yes you give her the pale tongue and she lets you reallocate your skill points you can choose where you want to put the points I'm not actually gonna do it because I like my setup right now but that's it. You can also alter your appearance and you can just, you know, offer pale tongues just to raise allegiance. I'm gonna do that though. I got three of them. Here you go. And then that's it. That's really all you have to do. It's pretty easy. 
Uh, the problem is, is that the other way of doing it is to get uh, this one NPC to trap you, and it doesn't always work. You have to talk to certain people at certain times, and you have to do this before you fight the Deacon of the Deep boss. And it just, it doesn't always work. But this way that I just did it is guaranteed to work every time, no matter how far you're progressed into the Cathedral of the Deep. So, thank you guys for watching. If this helped you out, I'd appreciate the like or subscribe for more guides and if you want the dark sword like i said previously just watch my dark sword guide it's a pretty damn good weapon and i don't think you'll find anything better in the entire rest of the game so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time right on my channel in the next guide